Hey everybody, it is Rav1, formerly, uh, now the New Jersey Picker. Uh, if you guys have been with us for a while, you know that I used to be Rav1 on this channel. Haven't done videos for quite a while because we've been redoing the channel, rebranding the channel. Um, really want to really laser focus on one area as opposed to the variety that we were doing uh, in hopes of growing the channel and of you know actually showing you guys what we've actually been doing the past uh, six months while we were away from making videos. Um, so we hope you enjoy what we're going to have coming forward for you. Uh, you're going to see what all this craziness behind me is all about in these videos. Um, if you guys have watched any of the picker channels out there, um, I'll give you some of the ones that I follow and that I've learned from over the last six months to really help expand my my business acumen out, uh, like Commonwealth Picker, Cincinnati Picker, NC Picker, Harry Tornado, Froggy Flips. Um, I watch those guys almost every time they put a new video out just to get you know, knowledge of what is really selling well on eBay and Facebook Marketplace and how you can actually really make money off that. So that's what this channel is going to be about now. It's going to be about, you know, our experiences going out to yard sales, garage sales, what we're picking and what we're reselling on eBay. And we're going to show you realistically, you know, what that what that entails, the labor that's involved in it, and like what the actual profits can be from doing this. So, you know, occasionally you might see some unboxing videos on here. Probably not anymore. I do have a whole bunch that we never we never actually edited and put on the channel. Maybe every so often I'll throw one of those out there. Um, we're not going to really have a set schedule. Uh, so if you like the content you're going to be seeing from us, definitely throw up. Um, not throw up. Definitely uh, put up uh, the notifications for yourself. Uh, sub to the channel so that way you guys know when we put new videos out. Uh, so we really appreciate you coming along on this ride with us. Uh, again, formerly RAV1. You guys can call me Chris now. I'm the New Jersey Picker. You're going to see me going out to garage sales, yard sales with my daughter, Emily, formerly known as, formerly known as Little Missy. E, um, and uh, you're going to see all the stuff that we're doing. So we hope you enjoy and you stay along for the ride. Check out this video. Mommy would like these. Now I got glitter all over me. <laughs> hmm. What? Oh, jeez. I think you have those at home. Pretty sure you do.
Like just like one of those little like doctor sets like you had when you were a kid. Like when, when you were a younger kid. <laughs> yeah, you're still a kid. The haunted house. Yeah, it sort of is kind of your kind of thing now. Alright. Suitcases. Get to doing food over there. Bowling balls. Don't worry about the butterfly. It's fine. Yeah, just like that. Oh wow. That's a set. Look, they're definitely soft pepper shakers. They're cute. fun.
go. There you go. Some tapes. Got that couple of hats, that Tupperware thing. I don't really know if there's anything else I really want. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, grab those. Grab, grab the other one for me, too. Throw one in my bag, throw one in yours, and throw them both in mine, I don't care. On you there. <laughs> no, no worries. Laundry balls. So four magic laundry balls. Cool, cool, cool. cool. I can hold. Season's greetings plate. It actually is, yeah. You want to carry mine? Which one do you think's heavier? This one? Okay. Switch bags. Look at this. Oh, it's broke. That's a shame. It's cute. Yep. What do I pay? Pay you? You got two bags. I'm not sure what you want to count these. They're not the paper bags. Kind of a spore, maybe? I don't know. How do you want to do it? So this will be a dollar. Okay. So this will be $2. Three? Yeah, it's fine. That works. That's perfect. Thank you. It's, it's that was, so. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great day. She got a lot of cool craft stuff in here, so she's super happy. Hey guys, we are back at the house from those garage sales. And I do apologize uh, for our first foray into the field with the uh, the camera to record and we didn't have a full charge on the camera so we were charging in between sales so that's why i think you guys only saw two or three sales on this first video today i'll fill you in on some of the stuff we got at the other sales um including that church sale that you guys definitely saw a video of i um, think we actually got some good stuff you guys will see comps popping up probably in the left hand side of the screen up in the top part of the screen depends where i have the camera at the time but you'll definitely see comps popping up for the items um, and then I'll tell you a little about why I've got them, my, my purchasing decisions were. So one of the first ones we went to, you can see all the stuff we got here. We got some really cool stuff. Um, picked up some horror movie videos. We got American Werewolf in London, Jaws 2, Planet of the Apes, and then Poseidon Adventure. Don't kill me Poseidon Adventure, I know it's not a horror movie, just a personal favorite of mine. We have a VCR at the house, I'm gonna probably watch that. I think it has comps for like $5, not a huge one, but I only paid a dollar a piece for those videos. Um, and we do really well with horror VHSs. Um, right there, the American Werewolf in London will probably be about a $10 sale. Jaws 2 can be a little tricky, um, maybe like five or $6. And then uh, the Planet of the Apes is in really great condition. It's got one of the, the different covers on there. So that one should sell for probably close to the sticker price here of $10. As you can see, we have a lot of Tupperware. Um, I always pick these up when I can find them, especially if they're you know in sort of decent shape. And this one was. Her, most of this lady's stuff was in great shape. Uh, these things, these cereal keepers usually sell for between eight and $10 a piece. I only paid, I think a dollar for it. Stickers out on there. Um, we also picked up this Tupperware. This is cool. It's like a, uh, it can be for like cakes and cookies. Um, and also the, here, hang on one second. It's gonna be tough to do with the, the camera, but there you go. You can see the top actually pops up. So you could actually do this for chips and dip. So really cool. It's only a dollar. I haven't comped this one out, but I'm thinking this one probably should be about another $10 sale right there. Um, we picked up these measuring cups. These are actually $2. I paid up a little bit for them because they're Tupperware. They're vintage. They're a really cool color. And they're in like excellent, excellent condition. And then the last Tupperware we got from her. If anyone knows what this is, please put it in the comment section below. 
I knew it instantly because I grew up and I had one of these in the house. It was pretty cool. Uh, my wife, as you've seen on the channel before, is DJTL, Davy Joe is her real name. Didn't know what this was, so she didn't have one in the house apparently. But I'll show you the inside too, which might give it away if the bottom didn't. But again, in like really, really great condition. Again, haven't priced it out, but probably should be about another $10 item. It'll be something, I mean, eight, eight to $10. So really good there. We also picked up this mug, Garfield, diet is die with a T. And as you can see, it's from 1978, a Nonesco. Only paid 50 cents for the cup. So I figure that'll be pretty good as well. And then I always ask if anyone has garden flags. Um, I might have some pictures of these show up because I'm not going to open them all up here. But uh, the lady's mother actually brought out these nice flags. They're vintage. She's had them for quite a long time. They're in beautiful condition, all with original tags. Um, you can actually see one of the tags here. Really nice. I thought she was going to say that she wanted, you know, Three or four dollars a piece for him which i was in to consider but she said she only wanted a dollar a piece for him so i gladly paid her the six dollars for him so really good stuff at that sale can't complain another little sale here we had a guy had v8 um, vhs eight tracks um nothing great you know i might lot these together you got two jefferson airplanes uh volunteers and bless its pointed little head and then uh, uh blood sweat and tears child is the father to man to the man You're not in the greatest condition but they're actually better than most of the stuff that he had i paid a dollar for all three of them might sell for like six bucks this sale here was pretty good um we got these two coca-cola tumblers uh for my favorite price which was free they had these just sitting in a free bin they're brand new um don't really know too much about them hopefully they have good comps but listen i will definitely always take a chance on something when it's free because you don't have to pay for it so if it's not worth anything just chuck it or put it out of your own garage sale pick up these cool cat salt and pepper shakers these were two bucks um i do really well with salt and pepper shakers uh, i've seen uh mainly commonwealth picker picks up a lot of salt and pepper shakers and does well with them i do well with them on ebay i've, I've picked up quite a few of them over the past couple of weeks past couple of months i should say and i sell them at a pretty good rate and i think I, like i said i paid two dollars for those i think i looked at comps and there's probably around 20 to 25 dollars in those so it's a pretty good pickup these unfortunately may not be a good pickup you guys will see the numbers i thought they were cool these are the longenberger collector club uh christmas ornaments two from 1998 and then 96 97 and 99 they were a dollar a piece in the box with all of the materials inside i thought they were really cool uh, when I just did a pre preliminary look on the comps, they weren't that high, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, maybe to the right collector who's looking for a complete set, you know, maybe this will be the, the one that they want to buy. That's the backside if I can open this for you. But just to give you an idea of what it looks like inside, they're actually really nice. Hard to do this with one hand, but there's that and then the ornament itself. So I thought it was really nice, um, but maybe not have the highest comps on those unfortunately and then this was a great pickup so we literally got to this guy's sale um this is the first thing that i saw it wasn't even opened up when i opened it up i saw that he had a two dollar price tag on it and i said to the gentleman i'm like you only want two dollars for this backgammon set he's like wow you know what backgammon is oh well, i do from watching all the videos i watch this set was complete it's leather bound he told me the history of it came from 1978 um, when he was a teacher a uh, fellow teacher actually bought it for him and taught him how to play. He said that this, the day before he had a $20 price tag. Then he put it down to $10 and it wasn't moving. Then he put it down to 5 and it wasn't moving. So he marked it down to 2 and I saw it and I picked it up. Because I figured for $2 we can take a shot with it and see. Comps are all over the place for this and it doesn't have any markings. So it's tough to tell like if it had an actual brand name or not. But, you know, we're going to take a shot with it. Next sale, we picked up these Chris, uh, Christmas ornaments. It looks like Christmas ornaments. Salt and pepper shakers. I paid $7 for the four sets. Um, we have, I'll put them on the back cam and say here. We have the dog and the fire hydrant. That one should do well. That one should be a comp, I think, between $10 and $15 I looked at. Humpty Dumpty here, I couldn't find any actual comps on himself. But I thought he was really cool because he sits actually on the actual set so it's like it's a two-piece set but it looks one piece the poodles i just thought were cool um i think the comps and those were around ten dollars and i didn't comp this one out yet but it was complete inbox from hallmark right it was hallmark it's not hallmark it's saint nicholas square christmas tradition salt and pepper shaker set um, but it was new in the box and i like the fact that it was a dog and a christmas tree and we bought these in september so christmas is coming up so figured we'd definitely take a shot with those. All the rest of this stuff here, um, besides one is just the 
the Christmas, uh, the church sale that we went through. And you guys saw most of this stuff already. Again, all of this stuff was, was two bucks that we paid for. Um, my daughter, little Missy, got a bag, as you saw in the video, for a dollar. So it was three dollars. And I gave the church an extra two dollars just to be generous because it's for a good cause. So you were five dollars in on this. Um, am I going to make a ton on this? No. But am I going to make money on this? Definitely. Um, we got the Tupperware cake set. Um, I've gotten one of these in the past, just actually recently, about two weeks ago, that I paid a dollar for and I flipped for 12. So this one's not as, as in nice condition as that, but they're still very sought after. So eight to ten dollars probably on that easy, which pays for everything here. I had no ideas about these, but they seem vintage. They were in their package. Magic laundry balls. No idea about this Lori Morgan hat. Just looked cool. Again, no idea about this Titex tools hat. Again, it looks from a golf thing. So could be something, could not. Um, we got these, which I thought was a set of salt and pepper shakers. Um, but they might not be. They may actually just be two salt shakers um, because the holes are the same on the back. And usually salt and pepper have different holes. So I'm not really sure. I'll have to do some research on them. Hopefully they're worth something. And I can sell them as a set. If not, maybe I'll sell them as two salt shakers separately. And then I picked up a selfie stick, which I didn't show here because I'm using it. And then we have a whole bunch of cassettes, which I'm putting to the side right now to show you this Craig sound machine with the projector. Um, they originally had a $2 price tag on it. They said works. I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, but if I did, do if I did, when I do, it's probably going to be worth between... I would say 10 and $15. Um, probably not a ton of money for this, but you know, as part of the sale, I'll definitely take it. As you can see, one of the buttons is missing some of the stuff. Looks like they hit that alarm button a lot. So it was definitely used a lot. And then here, just a bunch of cassettes I picked up. Um, a lot of Christmas ones, just because I had picked up Christmas ones before. So I'll lot them together. Celine Dion, um, some blank ones, more blank ones. Uh, I have no idea what that is. A couple of comedy ones. That's John Denver. John Denver cassette. So yeah, I just picked up some sets that I thought would be good to, to lot together. Um, Barbara Streisand. Um, like singers, that kind of stuff. And blank ones. Um, every time I get about 10 blank ones together, I put them in a lot together and I sell them. And you get between 8 and $10 for blank cassettes, which is perfect because you can record on them and record your own material on them. Just make sure if you're doing blank cassettes on eBay, you label them as such. You're selling them as blank cassettes. You're not selling them as the music recorded on there because that you're not allowed to do. But you can resell them as blank cassettes because they are recordable over, which is perfectly fine. Just make sure you word it correctly. And then the last, last sale, which you guys didn't see after that shirt sale because the camera died. Picked up only two things for two bucks. I just thought they were really cool. Um, we got these cool Disney parks. Um, let the adventure begin. Let the memories begin, I should say. These like mugs, drinking mugs. They don't have a date on them, um, but they're cool. And they're actually from the park itself. And the reason I know that is because on the other one, there's a sticker on it that says free fountain refills. Out on the date of purchase on any on a Disney water park. All day refillable mug on Wednesdays. And then the last thing we picked up was this cool Girl Scouts little mini lunchbox tin. It says Girl Scouts with a leather strap. And it's got the Girl Scouts 1912 to 2012 for their 100th anniversary. Um, I just thought it was really cool celebrating 100 years of Girl Scouts. Someone who's a Girl Scout was a Girl Scout, a fan of Girl Scouts, a collector of cool stuff. We'll pick it up. It's not vintage. It came out in 2012. But I only paid a dollar for it. So if it's worth, you know, $5, I'm happy. I make some money on it. But I'm hopefully it's worth more. So, guys, that's everything that we picked up this weekend of garage selling. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoy the new format for the show. Uh, again, I'm Chris. I'm the New Jersey Picker. I'm going to be bringing these videos to you hopefully at least once a week, if not longer. Um, if not longer, if not more. Uh, if, again, if you did like my witty banter and my rambling that I usually do in all my other videos, uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications so you can see when I put the rest of these out. And we will see you out there doing those garage sales. Stay safe out there. Bye.